First job, open Excel. You'll be greeted by a welcome page. Double click on blank workbook. And we're greeted by a new, completely blank spreadsheet. The area in the middle with these rectangles are what we call individual cells, A1, A2, A3. Here we have the formula bar, which we'll be using. And across the top, we have various tabs, which are used for various functions, a lot like Microsoft Word. We're now going to import some data into Excel. In lecture one, I ask you to guess my age. There are approximately 150 people registered on the module. I have guessed the percentage of you guessed at each age level. So these data are percentage. As detailed in section one or video one, all data associated with each practical is available on more. In the later sections, we're going to perform some descriptive statistics on this data. Import the file called age guesses, which we're going to do now. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the data tab at the top. We're then going to click from text, which should be here, get data from text. This opens a new window. And here we're going to navigate to where our data is stored. So mine is stored on my desktop, but yours could be stored in the U drive or wherever you saved it. And we're going to click on it as such, such and click import. And this opens up a new text import wizard. And here we want to make sure that delimited is ticked because the data set is separated by commas. And if we notice here in the preview, our data also has headers. So we're going to tick the My Data Has Headers box. Once you've done this, click Next. We'll move on to step two of three. And here we select how our data set is delimited. So we're obviously not using a tab. We are using a comma. Tick comma. And when we do this, you'll notice the data preview is split up. We click Next. And we're going to keep all the default values here, so which should be general. Click next and finish. And this final step is where do we want to put the data? We obviously want to put it in the existing worksheet. And if you'd highlighted A1 at the start of this, it would have already highlighted A1 there. But let's change this to A1 now. We can do this by clicking the box, typing A1 as such and clicking OK. This should add data into the top left of the spreadsheet as here. The majority of data for this section and for this module will be provided for you in text files. So refer back to these instructions as you need to. It's nice and simple um, and it's really important to be able to do this easily and quickly.